Hey everybody, welcome to the Weavers. My name is Emily. Today we are making a Weaver freezer staple, Italian meatballs, which tonight is going to turn into spaghetti and meatballs, which that recipe is already on my channel as well. Um, but you know, if you're new here, hi, my name is Emily. If you're not, thanks for returning. I have four crazy little kids. I run a full time job. My husband and I both work outside the home. And you know, sometimes life is crazy busy, and having these meatballs on hand help for a quick and easy meal. Let's get going. We are going to start by sauteing the onions and garlic that go into the mixture. I'm going to turn the stove on to medium high. Add about two tablespoons of oil. This is light olive oil that I'm adding. Let that warm up for a minute. Got our onions that I diced up in a meal prep video, as well as some minced garlic, which I'm almost out of. Let's start with our diced onions. We're gonna add about a half a cup to this pan here. Eh, more like a cup. We're gonna add about a cup to the pan there. Let that start warming through. And about a tablespoon of minced garlic. This is just garlic that I got from Costco in like the peeled, they were already peeled and then I just threw them into my food processor with a little bit of um, oil and a little bit of salt. So we're gonna let this saute for a little bit until it gets lightly brown. Okay, so to my baby food prep here, I'm going to add the sautéed onions and garlic. I'm doing this because, one, it helps cool it down, and two, I don't want big chunks of onions and garlic in my meatballs. If you like that, you don't have to do this step. This is just what I do. And we're going to pop the lid on. And give it a so I have two buttons on mine chop and puree I'm just gonna hit the top button until it's nice and just kind of into paste Ooh, look at that steam and it kind of looks like that so you don't have a lot of big chunks of onion or garlic in there it's just kind of a I mean you could keep going and make it like smooth if you wanted to I'm gonna give it a little more. I'm gonna give it maybe five more pulses. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then you've got a nice garlic and onion puree type. So to this bowl here, I am going to add in two eggs. Levi, stay in the house. This is a half a cup of pinko breadcrumbs. You can use bread if you want to. You can just use regular Italian breadcrumbs. Totally up to you. I like the pinko ones. I'm gonna grab my little bread spatula. Add in our onions and garlic that we sauteed and then chopped up in the food processor. We're going to add some salt, this is about a teaspoon and a half of salt, some pepper, and then I'm going to grab my big hunk of chunk of cheese here. And I'm going to grate in 
about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so now that is done. I am going to mix it together with it. But dirty less dishes. So we're just gonna mix this mixture together until it is all nicely combined. Okay, so now that that is nice and mixed together, I might need to put this in a bigger bowl. I might have underestimated the size of this. Hang on. Can I have a bigger bowl? Yes, I do. There, we're gonna put this into a bigger bowl. I misjudged myself here. Levi, don't play with that, please. Thank you. Yeah, leave it alone. Thank you. If I don't touch, please. Hey, go sit down and watch me. Okay, so to this mixture here, we're gonna add in, this is a pound of Italian sausage. I buy them in the links and take them out of the casings. A pound, uh, sorry, a half a pound of maple sausage, a half a pound of maple sausage, a half a pound of Italian sausage, and then two pounds of ground beef. And I like to just use my fingers and kind of break it up. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy out. And then I'm gonna take my hands go in and squish all that cheese and the eggs and the onions in with the sausage and the beef. I'm gonna mix this together and then we'll move on to the next step. a golf ball not a little bit smaller they can be kind of close together because they're going to render down i preheated my oven to 425 degrees i'm just going to make these i'm just going to pump them out real quick and then uh, roll them after i scoop them all
throw these into the oven for about 25 minutes at 425. I, tonight I am using a jar of marinara sauce from Costco. If you want my homemade sauce recipe, I have two. I have my meat sauce and I also have my marinara sauce on welcometotheweavers.com. I'm also going to add this. It's uh, what's left of my homemade tomato sauce. I'm just trying to use up stuff in my freezer. I'm just going to break this into chunks and pop it into the sauce here. I need to put that book away. Mom, let's eat. Yes, dear. I don't want to eat the bacon. And in one of my Persian cheese rinds. Just throw in that one. We're going to let that hang out for a little while while everything else is cooking. All right, so while dinner's glowing, someone wanted to say hi. Hi, everyone. This is my oldest son, Luke. He is... Six. Six. He is six. starting what grade next month? Uh, first five. grade. He'll be in first grade next month, and he'll be going to school. Like a big boy. Right in the bus thing. Okay. Anyway, um, I've got some pasta going. Um, you can find my pasta recipe for um, my spaghetti noodles at welcometotheweavers.com. Or check out my spaghetti and meatballs video. I think it's the first video I posted uh, where you can see how I make my fresh pasta. Um, Everyone, it's my favorite food in the world. What's your favorite food in the world? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs is my favorite thing in the entire world. So, I'm gonna get that going, and then I will uh, we'll come back once the meatballs are out of the oven, and we'll put them into the sauce. So I just added 12 meatballs out of the oven from a pan into the sauce to let them finish cooking. They're going to cook there for about 10 minutes in the sauce so we can get lots of flavor going through. And then I've just got my noodles over here that will be done here shortly. And then we're going to have some dinner. Alright, so we are going to add in our pasta here. some of our sauce. No. I'm not going to add in the meatballs because we'll put the meatballs on top and it looks good. Look, there's still four seconds. Can you go take care of that? Yeah, I'm going to add a grab a ladle and add like two cups of just the sauce to the mixture. Oop! Somebody hit my light. Oopsies. Okay. Wow! It's pretty. Why won't the camera zoom out even farther? Okay, so we're going to add about two cups of sauce to our cooked pasta. Um, I just used my spaghetti attachment on my kitchen a or my crank one to make these nice thin spaghetti noodles. We're going to toss this in the sauce. Oh. Take our noodles tossed with the sauce. Just a little bit more. Okay. Then we 
are going to take our meatballs here. Pop them up on top. Woo! Those are hot. We're going to do them with the tongs. And nestle them up on top. It wants to stay on top. Okay. Drizzle of our sauce. I love this meatball recipe because it's incredibly versatile. Um, I really like using it for Swedish meatballs, um, which I have that recipe is at welcome to the as well. I have not created a video for that one yet. That one's coming soon though. So I'm gonna clean up our edges a little bit here. Make it presentable. meatball I feel like it just blows a lot of pieces. I'm gonna grab my parmesan cheese. Pour a little more sauce around the edges. Okay now I'm just getting a little nuts with it. Okay now what we are going to do I have my Parmesan cheese again. That's my, my vegan cheese. I have vegan Parmesan cheese for Levi. I have my grater with the big holes. We're just going to give it a dust of Parmesan. All right, everybody bring on your plates. It's time for dinner. I put on my plate. Spaghetti and meatballs. Now we're going to let them cool until they're completely cooled down, which takes about 35 minutes or so. Then we'll label the bags, bag them, and put them in the freezer. Um, that you can make with these meatballs that's a quick easy dinner that is Swedish meatballs so I just put some of these in here um, I'm gonna insert a clip here AJ helped me with that AJ is gonna be helping me hi um, miss AJ is gonna throw open this bag of meatballs open the bag of meatballs open the meatballs meatballs you open it and then pour it into our nice hot pan And then we're going to add in the rest of this beef broth. All of it. Okay. Which was about a quarter of a cup. Look at it. It's so bubbly. And then we need to break them apart a little bit. And then we're going to throw some water on it, throw the lid on this for a couple minutes and let them cook. Can, can I pour the Pour in some water. Dump. We're going to pop the lid on. That's going to make it even cooler. And we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes until it is nice and warm through. Um, so I just let them hang out in that for a little while with some water and some beef stock. Um, I also put some rice, which is finished off to the side here. Um, we're going to bring this back up to a simmer. 
Take it out of your mouth. Take your clip. Thank you. So, what I like to do is I like to use a little bit of. Okay. So, what I like to do here, even though I did add beef stock. I'm going to add a little bit of this better than bouillon roasted beef um, just to give a little extra concentrated beef flavor. Dude's being silly over there. Is there something really funny? I'm adding about a tablespoon. Then I am going to grab. Can you grab it out? Yes, I did. We're going to add some sour cream, about a quarter a cup of sour cream, which if you guys have not invested in the squeeze tube, sour cream, I suggest you do that. And then we mix that into this sauce. Which really, if you already have like rice made, like leftover rice, this could be like a 10 minute, 15 minute dinner. Like it really does not take that long to throw together if you don't have to make meatballs which is why I like having meatballs already done in my freezer. Amelia, please. I'm asking you to be quiet. I'm asking you to be quiet. Thank you. Um, I like putting having it in my freezer so that we always have them on hand um, for the nights where I'm just like we just need to. Okay girl if you want it to be quiet you can go up to your bed and read. Or you can go in the front room. But I'm shooting right now, which means you need to chill. Okay, I'm gonna go read my phone. Okay. So we're just gonna keep stirring this until the sour cream kind of mixes in with the um, the sauce. And kind of comes to a simmer and starts to get a little thick. Okay, so now that this is reduced down a little bit, I'm gonna add a little more sour cream. It's about another, it's like a, it's like two tablespoons of. Can I do it? I'm gonna stir it in. Those are the liners for our bamboo um, steamer baskets. We make our own uh, dumplings. So she's playing with the bamboo steamer basket wrappers. Okay, so if you want more sauce in this, it's really just me and the kids eating this, so we don't need a whole lot of sauce. Ooh, ooh, that one's burning. That one's okay, thank you. I got too close to the burner. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little bit of a taste. Mm. Mm. And then here's my secret ingredient. What? What's up? I'm hungry. You're hungry. It's almost done, buddy. Salt or sugar? Sugar. We're gonna add in. A Can tablespoon a of sugar. Can I stir it in? And AJ's gonna stir it in. No, you may not have a little bit of sugar. A pinch? No. Then we're gonna add a lot of pepper. Sometimes I will make this with pepper jelly. Like red pepper, pepper jelly. jelly. Red um, pepper jelly. Can I have I can Luke, I'm it. making lunch right now. Bro, please. No. I'm literally, we're literally minutes away from eating. Look, why don't you get the plates and set the table? All right, you give this a little. I'm gonna eat my mm, plate. Great. So we're gonna get this dished up, and then we'll be ready for lunch. Okay. So we are gonna start with some rice. A lot of people put theirs with egg noodles. This is rice I made with ground, uh, not ground beef, beef broth butter and um, some buttery steakhouse seasoning. Mommy! Ooh, that's a lot of rice. Mommy, I touched it. Touching the pan, I burned myself. Are you okay? It hurts. It hurts. Ow. Okay. Mommy, I'm going to go put your arm under some cold water. All right, so I'm going to give, this is Luke's plate. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. I'm going to give him Ooh, hot. One, two, three meatballs for Luke. This is Thea's plate. Two meatballs for Thea. 
This is AJ's plate. She is my vegetable kid, so I'm gonna put some veggies on the plate for her. Hang on, baby, okay? Do you want three meatballs or two? I want two. Two. All right. Okay, and then I grab a big spoon here. Drop some sauce and pour the sauce over the top. You can serve this with some green beans. I'm just gonna serve this because it's lunch. Um, I'm just gonna serve it with some of my bell peppers that I already have cut up, because that's what AJ likes. No bell peppers for you, I know, Luke. I know. But your sister likes bell peppers, and really, she's the only one that eats vegetables in this house other than me, so. <sighs> So I have some baby bell peppers that I cut up in my meal prep video. We're just gonna put them on the plate here next to hers. Feed, you want peppers? No, okay. So we're gonna let this cool for a minute and then uh, we'll get them going on lunch. For my nice Luke, I'm gonna do some rice on the bottom. I like rice, so I'm gonna add some quite a bit. No, I told you I was making Swedish meatballs. No spaghetti. No. I said you have leftover spaghetti. For no, you asked if it was the same meatballs that I made, and I said yes because they are the same meatballs. Can you meatballs. Eat it, please. How about rice noodles? Eat it. How about you eat all of it, buddy? going to add in one, two, three meatballs here for mom. Grab some sauce. I like a lot of sauce on mine. And then here's the kicker part that I like to do on mine. a little bit of hot sauce just a little bit this stuff is pretty spicy so I'm gonna only add like two drops to it it's at three three and we're gonna top it little bit of my diced green onions and there we have it Swedish meatballs another quick dinner you can make with the frozen meatballs Mom, I need a knife. you need a knife okay I was also thinking another recipe that you guys could do with those meatballs is those um, like cranberry barbecue meatballs that you get at like a that you put in a crock pot those would be really good with those meatballs too. Really anything you'd put like an Italian style meatball in. Ooh, I've done a like Parmesan meatball slider. That's on welcome to theweavers.com. I've definitely done that one on there. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us today on making meatballs. Um, if you like more videos about our food and our family, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.